Hey, hey, what's up, boys? How's it going, man? I'm back with the last video of the nights. You know what I'm saying? Feeling pretty inspired tonight. Uh, we didn't have have time to squeeze in a podcast, so I had to, um, you know, put put this work in, bro. As far as transmitting this energy, and getting my creative juices flowing. So, guys, the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about tonight is um, talking to friends about. Um, SR, you know, maybe friends, maybe some of your day one homies, maybe some of people that you just met, people that aren't on SR, you know, trying to explain to them what you're doing and, you know, why you're doing it, you know. Number one is that most people aren't going to understand this topic, all right? Most people are not going to understand why you're doing it. First and foremost, they haven't retained so they haven't um, gotten to that spiritual place to where they're even receptive to the information you know like guys like us you know I feel like um, to get to this place we have to have some kind of spiritual background because we all know that this is a spiritual journey so as soon as uh, guys like us find out about this journey you know we're sold because you know we hear about the uh, the spiritual benefits the connection to God and then also obviously you're obeying God by retaining you know by conquering your lust so I mean it's a win-win situation for for guys like us you know who believe in God and want to obey God and cut the sin out one second boys uh but dude I was just talking to my homie right now and we we're just talking about how um just just explaining this topic to other people. Like some people are more receptive to it and some aren't. You know, you got friends that are cool with it. They understand that it's for self-development and they understand it. You know, maybe they, they haven't retained themselves, but they're down to, you know, listen to you at least and be receptive. They understand that it's for self-development. And then you have other people who are just completely, you know, gone left and they think that, you know, it's placebo. Uh, they think that it's bullshit. They think that... You know, you're just over exaggerating or, you know, you're going to, uh, to the extremes. You know, I had a friend the other day tell me that, uh, he goes, you know, I think you're giving a little too much credit to this semen retention, you know, experience, you know, he said, you know, cause I'm, I'm, I'm in sobriety too, right? Cause I had addiction problems. He goes, he goes, I get it. You know, addicts, uh, like to take things to the extreme. So I feel like you're just taking this to the extreme because you want to be like the coolest semen retention guy or something like that. That's what he said to me. And then he said, I think the benefits that you keep talking about that you're receiving is from being sober and from going to the gym. He's like, you're giving too much credit to this semen retention stuff. And bro, I had to just, I mean, I was, I was kind of blown away at that. You know, that, that first part that he said was kind of pretty disrespectful, you know, when he was talking about like, um, being an addict and all that shit, you know, how this is one of my close friends. So it's like, he's pretty much like a brother to me, honestly. So, you know, I forgive him. It's just, he's never retained. That, that's, that's the bottom line is that this dude has never retained long enough to see the benefits. So it's a perfect example that even your closest friends are going to think that you're weird, right? For this journey. Cause they have never experienced it, bro. So Super important for us to lean on our like-minded brotherhood, lean on other people who are on this journey, lean on other spiritual people, lean on other people who understand the ups and downs of this journey, they understand the ins and outs and all that stuff, bro. Fellow retainers, you know, other people that are in this community, right? Super important. You know, then you got uh, my other roommate who basically the other day he goes, you know, I, I, I tell like... Some people that I connect with, I let them know, you know, if I connect with someone on a spiritual level, if we become homies, like for real homies, I'll let you in on this information. You feel me? I'll let you know that I do SR and I make YouTube videos and I got a podcast and, you know, it's, it's all self-development. So I feel like people, they miss that, you know, it's like, just cause the word semen is in the title, uh, it's like a buzzword. So like they get distracted, they're like wait, why are you talking about your semen right now? Like, wait, what? Like, it doesn't even register, you know? So, my my roommate was like, what did he say? He's like, you might as well just say 
that you're practicing celibacy, that you're celibate, right? Because semen retention sounds like fucking weird or some shit. And I was like, well, isn't celibacy like no sex? Like, are you allowed to masturbate uh, when you're celibate? I really don't even know. I'm going to look that up after this. But essentially, yeah, I get, that's another example. You know, you mentioned this stuff. People are going to think it's strange. You know, even just saying the word semen retention. You know, these people, they don't fucking understand. So it's all good, bro. You know, we have each other. I just wanted to make this video to... Um, let you guys know if you guys are experiencing this that you know you're not alone right we all go through this we all have these experiences and it is you know we're in the one percent club we're in that that sacred one percent club so people aren't going to understand us they're not going to understand how we move they're going to be very confused as to why we're not doing certain things why we don't want to go out and drink and smoke weed and do all these toxic behaviors you know because we now live a life connected to God and the divine power source. And we're focused on retaining and we're focused on conquering our goals and becoming, you know, powerful men, right? That's what happens when you retain, you know, just go straight up, straight to the moon. So I feel like for guys like us, it's going to hit later. You know, these people are going to be feeling very, um, you know, shook when they see us and how powerful we're going to be in a couple years and where we're at and, you know, some of us, a lot of us are going to manifest some crazy shit, bro. A lot of us are going to get blessed by God, you know. Might end up, you know, millionaires, billionaires. Who the fuck knows where we'll be, but we're going to be doing some, some pretty cool shit, you know. We retain for a long period of time. Stay focused on this pathway, guys. The trajectory is just insane, you know what I mean? Like, I've been retaining since September, and the progress that I've made is absolutely nuts. You know, the people that I've met so far... I know I have friends that live all over the world, you know, I have people that I can talk to that feel like, you know, brothers to me, right? I have different friends, you know, I have a podcast uh, with my boy Martin, and the relationship that I have with him is just, you know, like, like, we're like brothers, you know what I'm saying? And it's all just from retaining, you know, and talking about God and spiritual stuff. It's a spiritual connection. That's what this journey is, you guys, so... When people that uh, that hate on you, just let them, let them hate. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand. They don't get it. And uh, I feel like they're going to understand us at a later date. You know, it's like one of those things we're just gonna have to show them. You know, the proof is in the pudding. And then when we when we when we hit that that level, when we when we come up, that's when we tell them that it was from retaining. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be shook. And then they might want to try it themselves. You know, we might inspire other people to to try it and, and push this message. That's really what I want to do. You know, I want to push the message of self-development, obviously helping guys rise from spiritual death, but uh, semen retention is a super powerful tool to do that. So that's what I want to do, you know, with my life as of right now. You know, that's my mission. So, all right, guys, this video was kind of a rant, but that's what I wanted to talk about, guys. Your friends are going to think that you're weird when you talk about SR. You know, friends that you've known for a long time. So keep it within the like-minded brotherhood, within your spirit, your spiritual brothers. You know, that's who we should be talking about this stuff with. You know, because they understand us. So all the other people will understand us after we choo, hit the moon. You feel me? They're gonna be like, damn. You know, you're just gonna be like, SR. I told you. You know, they're gonna be shook. So, all right, boys. Much love. I'm I'm ahead to bed. You know, I'm playing golf in the morning, which I'm super excited about. About to play golf tomorrow, bro. And uh, got the day off work, so probably won't be making videos, but I will try. I think we're going to make podcast 91 tomorrow night, so be ready for that, all right? With uh, my boy Spirit War Martin. All right, guys. Much love. Hope you guys had a good day, good night, and you're staying strong. God bless.